are again. That's a truck. That's a trailer. And that's some freight. We're going to deliver that freight today into Winnipeg, Manitoba in Canada. If you don't know where that is, well, there's a map. Look right in the middle of North America. Hit North Dakota, keep going north. We're up here. We exist. There's wood on my trailer. I am going to leave that wood with someone else. I don't want it anymore. It's heavy. I don't want to pull it around. And after I get rid of this beautiful wood, I've got another load waiting for me, also in Winnipeg. That's going out to Brandon out west. It's only two to three hours west of here, so it's not like it's that far. It's just a little shorty, but it's something to do, something to put on the trailer and move. So let's go get rid of this. It's weighing me down. So if you're new here, welcome. They call me Trucker Josh. I make new videos every day on the internet. I've been doing it for about 13 years. There's a lot to catch up on. You can go to my channel, check out my playlists. It's all organized by year and also a bunch of different categories there if you want to catch up. Best way to support me if you like me, leave me a comment down below. Leave the video a like if you liked it. And if you've been here for a while and you've decided I like this guy, I want to stick around, I want to watch all his videos, all of them, 3,000 some, 500 some videos. Welcome here. I appreciate it. You want to go one step further, you can click the join now button down below my video. You can become a member. It's like the price of a Starbucks a month. And uh, you get early access to all my content that way. You can be the first to view it. You also get special status in the comment section down below and your comments get sent to a special inbox that I see first. And if that's not for you either, hey, you can leave me a comment down below and support me that way. Share it with your friends on your social media. Click that share button down below. Share it on Facebook X wherever you do business on social media. You wanna find me on social media other than on YouTube, down below every single one of my videos, there's links. Just scroll down, hit the, if you're on a mobile device, hit the title, scroll down, show a little show more, the more button, the whole bunch of stuff down there. Keep scrolling down till you find my social media. If it is not below my video, it is not me. There are people out there that try to impersonate me. <laughs> I'm flattered, but uh, they're not me. So if it's not listed down below, it's not my page. Uh, some people try to scam you and pretend to be me, okay? Just be careful who you're talking to on the internet, make sure it's me. Most of, all of my accounts have the little check mark beside my name, so you know that my account has been verified. All delivery trucks park on shoulder, walk all paperwork inside, do not drive into gate area. Well, we better not drive into the gate area, we're gonna park on the shoulder and walk our paperwork in. Get my working shoes on here and go around the corner there to the receiving office bring my paperwork in it looks like we have one guy in front of us it's a super b hopefully they unload him quick and then it'll be our turn we'll get this weight off my back and then so right now we're on the east side of winnipeg east side of the red river i've got to go to the west side of winnipeg for my reload and hopefully that'll be a quick quick easy i think it'll be just a couple of crates i'm not too sure but uh, we'll find out. It, it, sometimes when I pick up at this place where I'm going, it can be kind of detailed and take a long time to tie it down. Other times it's just a couple of crates and it's like six to 10 straps and psh, you're gone. So it all depends what they're gonna put on me. I have no idea. It's uh, part of the fun of the job. You have no idea what's gonna happen until it happens. So when I go into customers, whether it be a shipper or receiver, I always carry my clipboard with me, like an important person. It's an it's amazing the different kind of respect you'll get when you're wearing a vest and carrying a clipboard. <laughs> That's the secret to get noticed and get people to come over and say, hey, can I help you? You look important when you're carrying a clipboard. <laughs> Plus it's handy because then you have something for people, like for them to sign their paperwork on. You look professional. Mine matches my unit and my truck and all my tarps and everything, so. Remember, image does matter. It's not like the biggest thing out there, but it is important that you show up clean, smelling good, looking good, and if possible, that you have a relatively clean truck on the outside and that you don't have garbage on your dash, that when you open your doors, you don't have garbage falling out. They'll notice this, and shippers and receivers, they'll notice that. And believe me, it's very hard for people not to judge you and an entire company if you show up with garbage falling out of your truck you know, your bumper hanging off the front, you know, everything bent all over, scratched paint, and walking in, you know, in sweatpants and a ripped shirt and smelling like B.O. If you show up like that, they may not want to see any of your trucks there ever again, 
right? I wouldn't. I definitely wouldn't. I would remember the guys that show up with a clipboard. Just saying. <laughs> I'm serious though. I, I'm serious. We should uh, be making an effort in that area, drivers. Uh, make sure you smell good, okay? When you go in. People remember that. They may not remember exactly what you look like. They may not remember what you said, but they'll remember the way you make them feel and they'll remember if you smell bad. People, that's, that's humans. They'll remember that. That's an empty trailer. All right, so now I've got to go to the west side of the city. I'm going to go, so I'm on the east side here. I'm going to go down Lage to Bishop Grandin or whatever they call it now. They changed the name of the road. Confuse all of us, huh? It's always going to be Bishop Grandin in my mind. I'm going to take Bishop Grandin to the west side of the city. Go pick up that freight and book it out west. If I'm lucky, maybe I can even get home tonight yet. I might have a reload by the end of the day though. I might have to go pick up tomorrow morning, so. We'll see, how do I get out of here now? I wonder if I go that way? Yeah, I gotta figure this out. There's some freight. I'm gonna take this freight to Brandon. Let's get going. I just cleaned this windshield yesterday afternoon. You know, we're getting to that season where there's gonna be no more bugs. It's beautiful, your windshield stays clean all day. The only catch is it also comes with snow and cold weather, but there's no bugs. Look at this guy giving her here with his 253s. You know, if you guys are gonna buy a truck, Find out if it's ever pulled a unit like this with 253s. If it has, don't buy the truck. That engine is being worked to death right now. Don't buy those trucks. If you find out that the engine's been used for super bee hauling or pike hauling like that, you can be guaranteed that engine's gonna be just beat up. Think about it, that engine is pulling twice the weight of the regular average truck. You don't want to buy that. Those trucks over there on the left too, hauling Super Bees, over 100,000 pounds. Again, you don't want to buy those trucks. First thing you always ask when you're out here looking to buy a truck on the prairies of Canada? Has it ever hauled Super Bs? Has it ever hauled 253s or highway pikes, turnpikes? If the answer is yes, walk away. We're here. Let's get rid of this stuff. Bunch of reels and a bunch of other stuff loading me down, weighing me down. It's heavy, I don't like it. It's time to get rid of it. And then we'll be empty. And our next goal is to go empty back to our yard where I gotta switch trailers and hook onto our RGN trailer, which is a removable gooseneck trailer. I have pulled it before. Last time I took it up to Gillum, remember? That's when all of my chrome got so pitted because we went down that like 600 kilometers of gravel and it destroyed my polish last year. We're gonna hook onto that trailer again. Except this time, we're not going up to Gillum. We're not going down the gravel road. Uh, we're hooking up onto that. We got a load, uh, a load up, some machinery in Winnipeg or near Winnipeg uh, tomorrow morning. And we take that to Regina, Saskatchewan, about a six to seven hour drive. Drop that off first thing in the morning on Friday, and then we'll come back home and that'll be the week. So. <sighs> All the stuff is still there. That's fantastic. Wonderful. Okay, let's get rid of this. I don't want it. That's an empty trailer. That's a truck. I'm a trucker. Let's go. We're in a rush. We're always in a rush. And off we go on our way back. We gotta drop this trailer in the yard and then go find the RGN. 
get that all hooked up, get it all warmed up, make sure everything works on it properly. We'll do a good pre-trip on it today so that there's no surprises when we do our pre-trip tomorrow morning on it. You know, if something's broken, we can get it fixed now instead of being late for our pickup tomorrow. I don't know what it is, some piece of equipment anyway. I don't know who's counting, but uh, I've added to my, my bug collection on my windshield. Picked up uh, a few dozen more. Going for the highest score. I just haven't had time to wipe the window off yet. Been in a rush all day. Going around the south perimeter of Winnipeg right now. This is just a nightmare. You gotta be careful going through here. They got photo radar everywhere. A lot of people getting picked off here for speeding through the construction zone. It's a big ticket. It's gonna be nice once that's done. Yeah, but... At least they're building an overpass. Winnipeg. An overpass in Winnipeg. Wow. Like, if there was ever a sign that the end was near, that's got to be one of them. Winnipeg started building overpasses. We got we got one on the way. Okay, we got rid of that step deck, and now we're hooking up to the RGN with a removable gooseneck. Here it is. I'm gonna have to lift this up a little bit. And, uh, oh, there's a solar panel on there now to charge that battery. That's smart. Huh? That is smart. That battery always dies. <gasps> Not no mo. All right, so got some dunnage on here, I guess. Checking things out, checking things out. This is going to be my friend for the next day. I'm taking this trailer with me to Regina, Saskatchewan. Yes, that's how you pronounce it. I didn't name it. We got air in those tires. I'm just checking for air right now. Like I said, we're going to do our pre-trip today. So that when I do my pre-trip tomorrow, there's no surprises. I'll check it twice. All right, all right. All right, all right. Now there should be a piece of dunnage, four by four in here possibly, somewhere that will go across my frame here. I wonder if I just use one of those down there? No, it's longer than that. I just have to make sure that I have that with me because uh, when I remove this gooseneck, you'll see it tomorrow, uh, there's a platform that comes down from the bottom there and pushes up on here. This isn't designed to hold any weight, so that'll just bend. So I have to have a piece of dunnage across here to spread the weight on the frame. But it'll make more sense when I show you tomorrow. I'm going to get this thing all ready to go. I'll talk to you in a little bit. It might take a while. It might not take a while. I don't know. 